Good morning, friends. Hi, guys. This is Kristen from Porch Nook. I'm so sorry about the bad lighting. It is so bad. Also, I haven't drawn in my eyebrows. <laughs> Nor have I brushed my hair. But everyone has been fed and walked and taken to school. So, you know, now I get to work on some projects. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm playing a little detective here today. Uh, when it comes to working with vintage furniture and home decor accessories, something I'm really passionate about guys and I wrote an article about it and I'll provide a link to that article after I get off this live and that is about testing your pieces for lead paint uh, in the 70s they stopped making uh, decorative paint more specifically home decor house paints um, and other um, um, decorative paints with without they took the lead out in the 70s and so really that tells you sometimes how old a piece actually is so I want to show you this um, this bird cage that I found. I love it. It's so stinking cute. And with all of my research, I I have found the same bird cage. Let me show you a picture. Right here. What do you think? Isn't it adorable? You see that? Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you can see that. Okay. Anyway, I found only a couple of these online. And what really interested me is that some people claim that their bird cage is oh thanks for the thumbs up thank you some claim that this bird cage is antique and some say it's vintage who out there can tell me the difference between antique and vintage again another important thing i'm, I'm very passionate about um who can tell me what's the difference uh to me antique is a sacred word and what i mean by sacred is that i mean Unless I can truly prove that something is antique, only then will I use the word. Um, because, you know, anything that's 80 to 100 years or older is considered antique. Hey, Amy. Oh, hi, Amy. Are you working, honey? Are you working? <laughs> You're adorable. Anyway, um, so, but vintage can be um, anything 20 years or older. You know, 20 years to 80 to 100 years is considered vintage. Anyway, people are listing their birdcage, exact same one, exact same paint color, um, same little blue accents, and some people are saying theirs are antique. So I'm thinking, okay, if it's antique, and this is definitely the original paint. Oh, good. Amy, you just dropped off the kids. Good for you. Yeah, I got done with my, my responsibilities too this morning. Uh, this is definitely original paint. And it started chipping a little bit when I was doing the thorough cleaning. So I thought, I was thinking, oh gosh, what if this is lead paint and it's chipping? I would hate it if anyone got this in their house. It would be very um, irresponsible of me. So what we're going to do is that we're going to test this using a lead paint test kit that I have in my article. And again, I'm sorry I didn't provide a link to this live. I'll, I'll add it to comments. Um, that's got the link to this product. Okay, so this is the product. It's 3M. Oh, it's backwards. I'm sorry. Sorry, <laughs> 3M um, lead check testing kit. You can get these at Home, De Home Depot or Lowe's. You can get them on Amazon. Again, on my article, it'll direct you to Amazon where you can get your own lead test kit. Full disclosure, I get like two cents if you buy a kit using my link, you know, so then I can buy a small farm that I've always wanted. <laughs> Yay, two cents. No, anyway, I kid. So anyway, this is what the, the kit looks like. It comes with um, either like three or four or 12 swabs. And what you do is that you got point A and you got point B. Sorry, my, I had a lot of caffeine today. C, C, A, C, B. And what you do is that you crush it. Okay, I'm not strong. You gotta do one at a time. Crunch, please. There we go. There's one. Hear that? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear that crunch. And here's point B. And then we're going to shake it with the with the tip down. Like so. And what we're going to do is I'm going to, um, once I'm done shaking it and mixing up the chemicals, you're going to squeeze it just a little bit to squeeze some of the um, chemical that you're going to be putting on your piece. Let me just try it again here. There we go. Oh, there it goes. See that yellow stuff? So I was originally worried, ooh, is this yellow stuff going to stain my piece? No, it doesn't. It goes on clear eventually. You can, you can just wipe it off and it doesn't affect your piece. And then what you do is that you take your swab, now that it has some of the chemical on the tip, and you start rubbing it on here. If the tip, after rubbing it for 30 seconds, if it turns pink, you got lead. <laughs> so, you know, what other kind of, I'm kind of nervous, what other kind of, home tests that make you nervous. <laughs> I, go, I, I share too much. Anyway, so you squeeze, now I'm gonna rub on. Let, give me a thumbs up if you can see this okay. 
Okay, so you can see I'm rubbing it on here. And who can count the 30 seconds for me? Give me a thumbs up when we hit 30. That'd be great. Thanks, Amy. I appreciate the work. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Thanks for the good luck. I appreciate that. Um, first, it would be cool if it did turn pink. That means I would have an antique, most most likely an antique piece in my pee, on my in my possession. But if it doesn't turn pink, that means it's vintage, guys. That means it was painted the '70s or you know or later. I think it's been 30 seconds, you guys. You ready to look at the tip? Is it lead? Is it not? I, I really thought this was going to be lead, but it's not. It's negative. It's a vintage piece, you guys. Am I sad? Yes. Am I happy? Yes. Because if it was lead, I would have to lacquer the heck out of it so the chipping wouldn't, um, you know, get around people's houses when I sell this piece. That would be really irresponsible of me. Um, yeah, I'm glad I don't have to do anything additional to it. That's great. So in my in my book, I think that the person, there's some people who are trying to sell this for $400, um, pitching, that, thinking that this thing is antique, claiming that it's from the early 1900s. It's not. This is definitely original paint. Definitely original paint. Very well taken care of. But it's at least made in the 70s. That would be the oldest I would say it was manufactured. Isn't that fascinating? All right, you guys. Well, I am going to sign out because now I got to write an accurate listing description for this piece and get it on market as soon as possible. But I'm just so glad I'm going to be able also to provide a picture. This is what is also helpful to me. And if you ever decide to um, purchase a vintage piece with its original paint that someone's claiming has its original paint, always, always ask for a lead test result, guys, before you introduce it to your home. And if it does test positive, then you can ask the artist if they're willing to perhaps lacquer it so that the chip paint won't get in, you know, land on your floor and possibly eaten by small children or house pets. That would be bad. Okay, yeah, I'm a, I'm a mix of emotions. Sad but happy at the same time. Feel free to leave a comment later. Let me know what you think. Again, I'll, um, I'll add a, a link in comments of this live providing you a direction to um, directs you to my blog article talking about testing for lead paint. You guys, thanks so much for joining me on this little adventure. Have a fantastic day. Bye.